What's up guys, it's Miles here and today I decided to make a Big Ten college tier list because who doesn't love the Midwest? So let's go ahead and get this video started. Now for the first school on this list, it is Purdue and this is the ultimate engineering school. If you want to be an engineer, go to Purdue. They are located in West Lafayette, Indiana, which yes, is in the middle of nowhere, but Purdue is home to some of the best engineering programs you're going to find in this nation. Purdue attracts many top students to their campus and with that many bright minds, you can imagine the innovations that they have on campus, including making robots to deliver people food and navigate through campus like a person would, which is really cool and insane. However, students at Purdue do suffer from a condition known as SF, or in layman's terms, sausage fest. So for that, I'm gonna have to give them a B, but then it actually turns out that that whole entire myth has been debunked, so I'll put them at an A. But then again, everybody is under the impression that mostly guys go there, so I'm gonna have to give it a B again. Penn State, a big campus with a small town feel in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. But don't let that fool you. Just because it's secluded doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing. Penn State students still know how to have a good time, and they have plenty of things to do on campus, including eating some of the best ice cream that any college campus in America makes. Even the Food Network has had TV crews come down to see the creamery. So honestly, I got no complaints here. I'm gonna have to give Penn State an S for scandals. Northwestern. Definitely the most elite school in the Big Ten without a doubt. Northwestern is a private school located outside of Chicago and they have a very modern aesthetic campus and they're even building a new athletic facility that's projected to cost millions of dollars. The acceptance rate of Northwestern is 9% so it's easy to see that they have the best of the best. I would have Northwestern transcend S class and go to God tier but then again they get confused with Northeastern a lot so I'm gonna have to put them at S. Next, we got Ohio State, which is my school, the home of the Buckeyes, as it's called. We have some of the best school spirit that you'll see, even requiring some students to jump into a freezing lake. Great athletics are standard every year here, and students know how to have a good time without sacrificing academics. But at the same time, the class sizes can be absolutely atrocious, and I mean really bad. We have classes that are so big that a professor even said that if a kid got a wad of paper into a trash can, he would give the whole entire class an A. Also, many people see our fans as extremely annoying when it comes to sporting events. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give Ohio State a B. But then again, our Dean plays electric guitar, which is pretty cool, so that's A tier material. Michigan. Ranked number three in public universities, Michigan is the best institution that is public when it comes to academics in the Big Ten. Michigan holds the number one spot for marketing and management degrees, which makes it an absolute powerhouse when it comes to business. Michigan has a ton of pride in its athletic programs, most notably football, which is kind of funny considering the fact that they've lost to their biggest rival in the biggest game of the year, Ohio State, for nine years in a row, and they still have the audacity to call it a robbery game, which is kind of pathetic in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to give Michigan a B, but then again, there is some bias here probably, so I'll push them up to an A. But it's kind of weird to see Michigan and Ohio State on the same level, so let me adjust this really quick. Okay, that's a lot better. Indiana University. If your name rhymes with the name on this screen, there's a 70% chance that you attend this university. The community and social scene on IU's campus is definitely fun and enjoyable, but Greek life does compose most of that. But don't let the Burks and the Patagonias and the Vineyard Vines pocket tees fool you, because the students who go to this university still do care about their academics, and they're even ranked really high in business. So for this school, I'm filling a nice strong B for brotherhood. University of Minnesota. The University of Minnesota is home to some of the most friendly and welcoming people you'll meet on a college campus. The campus is also really beautiful itself, but the winters can be kind of harsh. The famous alumni from this school probably make the most interesting group I've seen from a Big Ten school with people from Ric Flair and Bob Dylan all the way to Tony Dungy. So that's pretty cool and I think that this is a pretty good university and they're really nice and you gotta love people who are nice, right? So I'm gonna have to give them a B. Iowa. Getting bored here is a legitimate concern as there isn't much to do around the campus, but thankfully the party scene makes up for it as it is with most Midwest schools. Not only that, but they have great school spirit and they also support all their athletics pretty well. But this is the same school where you may find yourself pre-gaming your trip to the library. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a C. Not bad, not good, just nice and neutral. 
Michigan State. Michigan State may have the most beautiful campus on this list with the river running through their university and not only that, but multiple gardens and fountain locations scattered throughout their campus. Michigan State does have some notable programs when it comes to academics, but one thing that is kind of bad about the university is that it is 5,200 acres big. That actually makes it the second largest university by land size in the United States. So you can imagine how annoying that can be and how hard it can be to traverse campus sometimes. So I'm have to give Michigan State a C. Rutgers University. <laughs> University of Wisconsin. Referred to as a public ivy, but mostly only by the people who go there. The University of Wisconsin does have great academic programs in just about every single subject, and the students there are very driven and they want to succeed. The work hard, play hard mentality is very present on Wisconsin's campus as students spend ample time partying and getting wasted. All things considered, I think I'm about to give University of Wisconsin an A. I think it's very impressive to know how to balance getting good grades and having a high volume of partying. University of Maryland. The University of Maryland has a great location being about 30 minutes outside of Washington DC, which means if you get tired of all the things to do on campus, you can always venture out and look at the nation's capital. The University of Maryland is also home to great academic programs, especially when it comes to their graduate programs. Not to mention there's some other cool things about this university, like they have a pretty dope state flag, but they also do have a pretty lame mascot, so that kind of cancels out the state flag. I'm feeling a nice strong B on this one. University of Illinois. The University of Illinois is home to a very beautiful and traditional college campus and this school attracts many, many engineering students as they have some of the top engineering programs in the country. The in-state tuition for this school is among the highest out of all Big Ten schools, which does drive some in-state residents out, but I will say that this does not overshadow the fact that University of Illinois does provide some of the best education you can get in the Big Ten, and not only that, but the school itself is an overall good school. I think I'm going to give them a rating of a B. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like I'm forgetting a school. Like, I definitely named 13 schools, and I know there's one more, but I can't remember what that would be. Like, Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. So, Nebraska is definitely a school that most people in the Big Ten don't remember all the time, and for that reason, I'm gonna have to give them an F for being forgotten. And that is my Big Ten college cheer list. Thank you guys for watching. You gotta love the Midwest. It's a great place to raise a family, but not only that, it's just a good place to go to college, you know? There's a ton of good schools out here, and I just had to make this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video. It helps me out a lot when you guys do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe in your quarantine, and try to make the most out of it, and I'll have more videos coming out soon. Peace.